what's really going on on the moon? An amateur astronomer from Germany discovered something massive moving across the moon, and it's clearly not of human origin and not sent by NASA or any other space agency. So what could it be? A UFO, a normal moon glow, or a phenomenon that we have never seen before? Ever since people have been observing the moon, they have seen lights there, for which, there is no explanation. This is how the story of the man and the moon came about, and it makes our blood run cold when we consider what it really means. The moon is a celestial body that is firmly attached to the earth. A special feature of this bond is that the moon always shows us the same side, and for thousands of years, no one has seen what the other side actually looks like and what is going on there. So it's no wonder that the moon has always been the center of intense speculation and wild stories. In modern times, more and more amateur astronomers are looking to the moon to enjoy the beauty of the Earth's satellite or to catch first-hand impressions of secret processes. A space enthusiast from Germany looked towards the moon with his telescope and saw this. The light is small at first and immediately arouses the viewer's interest with its delicate reddish glow. What could it be? NASA usually explains light phenomena and spots that seem to appear in front of the moon as satellites reflecting the light of the sun. But this object immediately shows us that it is certainly not a satellite. It slowly approaches the moon, and it becomes clear that this light is not passing in front of the moon, it seems to be heading for the surface of it. Suddenly, the light scatters in a triangular shape in front of the object. The red becomes even more clearly visible and the object more and more mysterious. What looks tiny to us here must be a gigantic object compared to the size of the moon. At some point, the traces of light disappeared, and it was as if it had never been there. Since the video was published, the internet community has been speculating about what this object could have been. Is the video real, or is it fake? We don't know, but we do know that sightings of strange objects and lights around the moon are almost a daily occurrence and there may be a reason for this. Two or three points over the decades, dozens of videos and photographs of light sightings around the moon have accumulated. Sometimes one, two, or three conspicuous lights can be seen even when the moon is brightly lit. Objects are sighted that do not appear as bright as light but are visible as dark spots in front of the moon. Scientists explain the bright lights as the transient lunar phenomena, or TLP. Reports of unusual light observations on the moon date back to the 6th century. Even in the present day, scientists have observed lights, color changes, or even bright darkening that cause temporary changes in the appearance of the moon. The phenomena have been systematically catalogued since 1958, but no one has yet found an explanation. Despite the extremely strange TLP phenomena, Respected scientific circles do not want to know anything about aliens and their activities on the moon. Allegedly, gases escaping from the moon's interior and reflecting the sun's rays cause phenomena such as the red light we saw at the beginning. Other TLPs glow blue, green, or even purple, and everything is said to be completely normal and explainable. TLPs range from small point-like lights to larger glowing areas. Sometimes they appear as short-lived flashes or as subtle changing shades of color on the lunar surface. In 1975, it is often rumored that even Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were not completely alone on the moon during their moonwalk at the end of the 1960s and saw several spaceships observing them. Allegedly, NASA wants to cover everything up, but that's not quite true. This video, which was allegedly recorded by James Irwin, an astronaut on the Apollo 15 mission, was never concealed or covered up. However, nobody wanted to admit that this thing looks an awful lot like a flying saucer. The official line was that the apparent object could also be a reflection of light. But look for yourself at the shadow it casts below it, which clearly shows that the dislike object is hovering above the surface of the moon. Something very similar can be seen here again. NASA claimed it was a rock, but again, the shadow reveals something hovering in the air. Could these all be coincidences? Probably not. We don't have any hard evidence of aliens on the moon, but we do have some interesting clues. In the 1970s, the clairvoyant medium Ingo Swan was asked by the FBI to look at the moon via remote viewing. Among other things, Swan saw some highly intelligent aliens mining on the far side of the moon. 
Fascinatingly, rumors about mining on the moon have been around longer than NASA and modern telescopes. Somehow, centuries ago, people came up with the idea that there were people or men living on the moon who were active there. Later, it became stories that this man or men could be responsible for the moon's glow. Swan had to keep quiet about his mission for 10 years, and then only a small dedicated community of UFO researchers and paranormal enthusiasts believed him. In the years before his FBI experience, Swan was a respected scientific medium who correctly scanned the atmosphere of Jupiter long before the first probes reached the gas giant. Until 1959, no human had ever seen the far side of the moon. The Russians sent Luna 3 once around the moon that year, but kept most of the images for themselves. So, of course, nobody knew what this nation, which was extremely hostile to the United States during the Cold War, had seen on the far side of the moon. NASA's Lunar Orbiter 1 did not reach the far side of the moon until 1966, and allegedly there was not much to see behind the moon's face that we know, apart from a rugged landscape. However, we must also concede that these probes were not able to show details of the lunar surface or recognize aliens mining in a crater. This only became possible much later, thanks to high-resolution images. Today, thanks to Google Moon, even amateurs can scan the moon and turn over every stone. This repeatedly leads to astonishing discoveries, and sometimes areas of the satellite images appear suspiciously blurred. Which is why it's assumed that we normal Earthlings are not supposed to see some of the things going on there. Is this still normal? Explaining individual lights with TLPs may still make some sense. But what are we to make of three lights flying in formation when NASA once again declares that everything is completely normal? It's probably trying to pull the lunar wool over our eyes, because there are certainly no light phenomena to be seen here that originate from mysterious outgassing from the moon. If we connect the three dots, we always end up with the same shape, a typical and easily recognizable triangle. The shape often appears in connection with UFO sightings on the moon and also on Earth. In this photo, the three typical lights are so bright that the shape of the spaceship in the middle is recognizable. These flying objects are regularly noticed and reported almost everywhere on Earth. In 2021, these images from Hertfordshire in England attracted attention. In the same year, one of these flying triangles appeared over California. And a year later, a very similar UFO was spotted over Carl's R. Given this frequency of sightings, we must ask ourselves what these flying objects around the Earth and on the Moon want. This question divides even the opinions of UFO enthusiasts and paranormal researchers. Some believe that the aliens are watching us, and others even assume that extraterrestrial races maintain contact with governments or certain organizations without the normal world population noticing much of it. The Moon could be a kind of stopover or base for beings who either want to mine raw materials there as Ingo Swan said, or keep an eye on us earthlings. In any case, Ingo Swan said that the aliens he had seen on the moon were not friendly towards humans, and like Swan himself, they were mentally gifted. When the aliens realized Swan's presence, they became angry, and the FBI immediately aborted the attempt. Of course, we can ask ourselves how this is supposed to work with humans on the moon in the future if there are bad-tempered aliens around. On the other hand, although the moon is much smaller than the Earth, it is also big enough to keep out of the way. And we cannot rule out the possibility that NASA, the FBI, or the US government have not made contact with the men on the moon in the meantime. Fiction or reality, who hasn't seen the face of Mars, the Martian pyramids, or human and pyramid-shaped apparitions on the moon? In the vast majority of cases, these objects are so-called pareidolia. Our brain creates images from inanimate objects, such as stones or sand dunes, that have something to do with another thing that is familiar to us. We then see shadows of people, bones, or things, and structures that look like buildings. Many of these pareidolia have now been unmasked, thanks to the latest Mars and Moon probes. Such phenomena have been observed and explained from other angles. So, among the many UFO and alien sightings, there are certainly a large number of mistakes, fakes, or even fakes. But what about this? This again looks suspiciously like a pseudo-pyramid on the moon. But wait a minute, there are eight lights arranged in an exact 90 degrees triangle, 
and nature really doesn't produce anything like that. And this can't be an optical illusion either. The picture led to a lot of speculation, and once again, the ideas about secret underground alien bases on the moon came to life. Allegedly, there are numerous cavities inside the moon or spaceships, some several hundred meters long, are said to be deposited. Strangely enough, even renowned scientists have now found evidence that the moon is hollow inside. This came about because seismographs recorded moonquakes that resonated so strangely, as if the moon was hollow inside. Moonquakes normally occur as very gentle tremors caused by geological processes on the moon. In this case, however, a meteor struck and caused a strong quake that went right through the moon, making the hollow moon phenomenon noticeable for the first time. Subscribe now because the best V.